Hello folks, let's go on and take a look at calculation views in SAP HANA today. We're going to go off of these four tables called forecast fact, sales fact, item and country DIM. In forecast, we have obviously forecast for, our, I don't know, some kind of sales. Let's say it's at a country level. And for sales, we have the sales at an item level for each country. So the granularity is a little more in the sales. I'll quickly go show you these tables. Uh, this is my country DIM, having country ID, name and region name. Here's my item DIM, which has item ID and item name. My sales fact table where I have the country ID, item ID and sales amount. And forecast fact where I have country ID and forecast amount. It's The granularity is a little higher level here and I do not have the item ID here. What we go ahead and do today is uh, quickly create the attribute views and analytical views mentioned here. It's more like a recap on this and then I'll be going a little fast here and then on this piece I'll slow down a little. So here we get into it. Uh, I already have the schema called A1 sales. So what I'm going to do here is create a new schema for my tables again and redo everything. I'm copying the script. I'll put it down in the description of the video later for you to use it if you like. I go in here. I'm going to close all this. I'm going to say A1 sales tables and I'm going to go to SQL. Put in my script here, execute this, that got executed. Go to catalog and refresh this. Okay, here we have A2 sales with all the tables again, very, very little data. Again, the idea is to show you how to do it, not to test any kind of speed or anything. And then we go down to content. Uh, I already have a package created here called A2 sales. I'm going to go use that. I'm going to go create two attribute views first quickly. I'm going to create AT uh, item. Next, the tables I'm going to use are item DIM. Actually, only for AT item, it's only one table called the item DIM. Okay, uh, close this. Okay. Add as key attribute and add as attribute. I'll go ahead and activate this. And while that's activating, let me go ahead and create my next attribute view, which is AT country. Again, if I'm a little fast here, I would recommend that you go watch my other video where I'm doing it a little slower for the attribute view and analytical views. I'll select my country DIM. For this, I'll add this as an add key attribute and these two columns I'm going to add as attribute. I'll go ahead and activate this now. Next, I'm going to go create an analytical view. My first analytical view is going to be AV sales or let's say AV forecast. Okie dokie, I go here. I'm going to go to the tables. What am I going to take? Forecast fact. Go next. Select the two attribute views or actually in this case only one because I do not need the item attribute for forecast. I select the country one. Say finish. In logical view, I have the country and then in the data foundation I have the forecast fact. What I'm going to do is add this as an attribute and uh, add the country ID as an attribute and the forecast amount as a measure. Go back to the logical view and now I have those two columns that I just added from the data foundation. Just going to join these two. Okay and I'm going to say Activate. So here is my first analytical view. Let's go ahead and now take a look at the data in the forecast table or in the forecast view, I'm sorry. I'm going to do the, the raw data here. Basically, you'll see it's, uh, let's go actually do the analysis on region name and uh, forecast amount. 
And let's do a tabular view. You see it's 300, 650 and 50. Okay, I'm going to close that. I'm going to close a couple more here. So that's my analytical view for the forecast. Let's now go ahead and create an analytical view for the sales. Okay, I go next, go back here, I'm going to select the tables I need, select the sales fact, go next. For sales, remember the granularity is different, so I'm going to have both the attributes, which is country and item. Finish. Okay. Uh, Go to the logical view, okay. Uh, it has the two attribute views and the data foundation here. I'll go back to the data foundation and add these two as attributes, the IDs and this as the measure. So now the three columns are available in the logical view. I'm gonna join country ID to country ID and item ID to item ID. Go ahead and activate this analytical view okay that's completed successfully so I right click and say data preview and now here's my raw data I'm gonna go do a quick analysis I have region name and where's my sales sales tabular view again uh, I could pull in the country name if I want and then I could even pull in the item name if I want Okay, so that's my second analytical view. Now, here's the main topic, creating a calculation view. So we have these two analytical views, one which has my forecast at a country level and the other which has my sales at a item level per country. So the granularity here is different. We will now go ahead and create a calculation view which gives us both forecast and sales. So I'm going to go a little slower here now. So here you go to calculation views, say new. Please come up. Okay, here it is. CA, forecast and sales. Okay, next. Says select the tables. Uh, ideally, I don't need any tables here. I have my analytical views and calculation views. So I'll go to the information model. I'm going to go to A2 sales. I'm actually for now uh, taking only the analytical views. Add. Finish. Okay. So here we have forecast and here we have sales. We now need to join these two. Before we join forecast and sales, what we have to go ahead and do is aggregate the data in sales view so that it comes and gives me the information at a country level so that I can then go join it to forecast, which has it only at country level and not at the item level. So here we go to sales. Go up here to the tool palette, do a projection, which is basically you aggregating your data join the two, go to projection, add country ID to the output, add sales amount to the output. Uh, we're gonna skip the region name, country name, and obviously we don't want anything on item. Next, so in the projection you have added country ID and sales. Next, I go to a join between these two are joined between the forecast view and the projection of the sales view. Drag this over here, this over here, and what am I going to join? I'm going to join based on country level. Now you see the granularity for both these is the same. It's at a country level. Now I join these two. What do I have in the join? I have country ID. Now I'm going to add my region name and country name to the output. I'm going to add the forecast amount and the sales amount to the output. And I'm going to join this to the output here. And what do I have here? In my output, I'm going to say, give me country name and region name as an attribute. Q 
give me forecast amount and sales amount as a measure. We go ahead and activate our forecast and sales calculation view. My reference running here. And there we are, completed successfully. We go ahead and say data preview. Here's all our raw data. Okay, analysis. I'm going to say region name. Let me first check the forecast. Forecast, it's a tabular view. 300, 650, and 50. 300, 650, and 50. I've taken a screenshot before. Now, let's go check the sales. 160, 430, 130. Let's go back here. One sixty four thirty and one thirty aggregated, and I put in even the forecast here. Here I have both forecast and sales from my calculation view. I could also add the country name if I wanted. There you go. So there you have the result of your first calculation view. Very straightforward. Of course, my data is very sparse, but you're definitely going to have much more data. One other thing you could do here is for this join that you see. Uh, let's go and bring up the properties. How do I do that? Click here, go to Windows, uh, and where did it go? Show view properties. Do you see how my join is an inner join? I could make it an outer join. We let's say a left outer join with the assumption that I'm always going to do at least a forecast. I may not have sales, but I'm going to do forecast. You could do that and make it a left outer join if you want. Or let us say if you think you're going to have a country uh, in the country for which you may not have sales or forecast and you still want to show that country, then you could do something like what I have already done here uh, in a previous example. Uh, I didn't demo how to do it, but it's straightforward again. You do your first join and then again you do a second join I mean you again do an outer join here in case you have a forecast which is not there in sales and then again you do a second join where you're joining to the attribute view country and then this will again become a left outer join so again it gets a little complicated I don't think you're gonna have those cases but again just showing you another way to do it and then take it to the output so yeah that's it about uh, creating calculation views and one other thing is yeah you could also instead of doing a join you could also do a union if you like if your you know data set is coming from two different places and you have the same columns uh, projection as I mentioned was where you're basically aggregating your data so you get the right level of granularity before passing your data from one level to the other again uh, that was it on calculation views hope that was helpful thank you very much folks